So in today's video, I'm going over this component called series, but we're going to be using it in a different way. We're going to be using it for creating some stairs. So let me show you how to get that done. So right now I'm going to go to units here and see what we're working with. So we have millimeters, but I'm going to go to inches and then feet and inches, but you could use any units. And so let's bring in a rectangle and create basically a tread. So let's go in the X direction. We'll go 48 inches. And we'll say in the Y direction, we'll go 12. And so we're just going to create basically a step that we are going to create a boundary surface here. So if we go to boundary surfaces and we plug in that rectangle into there and then extrude this surface, we can now pick the height of the tread. So let's uh, extrude in the direction, in the Z direction. And let's plug this in here and let's give it a height of six inches. So it's going to be a six inch tall tread and we can hide these. So there we have the tread and we can always come back and adjust the width if we need it to be 36 or whatever other um, dimension. So we take this and now this is the one that we're going to take and we're going to do a series of movements up so we can create some linear stairs. Okay, so in this portion, I'm gonna go fairly quickly because we've done this in another tutorial before. So make sure you check that those out, the one that's uh, about series, because we're gonna be creating a series of movements. We're gonna move, we're gonna take this solid and we're gonna move it. So we plug in that solid and it defaults to moving it in the vertical direction, but we don't want that, we want to go in the, so. In which direction do we want to go? We look here and we see that the tread of 12 is in the Y direction. So that's the direction we want to go. So let's move in the Y direction and then let's plug in to the Y direction here. But now we're going to do the series of movements. So if you just plug in a series, it's going to create 10. They're going to be spaced out at one and they're going to start at zero. We actually want them to step or to be spaced out the same amount as that tread. So let's go ahead and put that into the step. And we see that we have 10, we've created 10 different closed B-reps that are just basically arrayed next to each other in the linear fashion. So let's go here, right click and unpreview, and there we have all of these movements in that direction. Now, if we wanna pick how many we want, we can go here and click, double click, bring a slider of five, and then we can now adjust how many we want. We can adjust the height and we can adjust um, the width and length of the, the steps. So let's go ahead and move into moving it up. So let's actually create another movement. So we're gonna move all of these and we're gonna move them in the vertical direction, so in the Z direction. And as you can see, it's moving all of them up. So we're gonna have to create another series so let's create a series of movements. Also with a count of four, it's not gonna step 12. It's gonna actually step the same amount as the height of the tread. So we'll bring in this six into the step and then we'll bring in the series into the Z vector. And we can now go ahead and hide this preview. And there we have basically linear stairs that we can increase the count. So we can even come here, double click, increase the number of them so 20 before you need a landing so we can increase here or decrease we can increase the height of the tread six about six and seven is code and then we go here 48 inches 36 is minimum uh, so let's leave it here at 48 and so this is this is a spring point where you could actually come in and do some parametric modeling for the railings and things like that but this is a good uh, you know, a good script for you to be able to know, um, you know, do a quick sketch of the stairs that you have and they're fairly accurate. So hopefully you learned something and you found this interesting. If uh, I'll leave this in the comments for you to download if you want to play with it and you want to learn how it works. Um, also, there's other tutorials that I have that will help you understand what series is a little bit better. But yeah, hopefully you learned something new and I'll see you next time.
thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one